My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or resent his rebuke, for the Lord disciplines those he loves, just as a father the son he delights in. Proverbs 3, 11, 12. Imagine a child who, despite not understanding at the time, is corrected by his loving father. This father does not act harshly, but with affection that seeks the growth and well-being of his child. Thus, the verse presents us with the image of a God who, with unconditional love, disciplines those he loves. This perspective transforms our understanding of divine discipline. It is not about punishment, but about care and guidance, like a lighthouse guiding us through the storms of life. And as we begin to understand this dimension of God's love, we are invited to reflect more deeply on the meaning of this discipline and how it manifests itself in our lives. As we look at Proverbs 3, 11, 12, we are invited to examine the concept of discipline in a new light. The word discipline often evokes feelings of discomfort or resistance, but here it is presented as an act of love. When the verse says, do not despise the Lord's discipline, it is encouraging us to change our perspective. The Lord, like a loving father, uses discipline to guide and shape us. He sees beyond the present, glimpsing the potential for growth and transformation within each of us. Discipline, then, is not a punishment, but a tool for growth, a way to correct our ways and bring us closer to His will. The verse also speaks of not being grieved by the Lord's rebuke. It challenges us to accept correction with humility and gratitude, recognizing that each rebuke is an opportunity to grow in virtue and wisdom. As we move forward, it becomes essential to reflect on how God's discipline has shaped our lives. Reflecting on Proverbs 3, 11, 12, we see how divine discipline is intertwined with God's fatherly love. Imagine the patience of a careful gardener who prunes his plants to promote healthier, more vigorous growth. God does the same with us through his discipline. He corrects us so that we can flourish according to his perfect plan. The Lord's discipline, though sometimes painful, is a manifestation of his deep love and care. Just as a father wants the best for his child, God guides and shapes us so that we can reach our full potential. Each rebuke is a reminder that we are loved and valued and that our Heavenly Father is intimately involved in our spiritual growth. Embracing this discipline takes us on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. It challenges us to abandon pride and embrace humility, recognizing that we are works in progress in the hands of a loving Creator. As we prepare to contemplate deeper questions about our experience of divine discipline, we are invited to open our hearts and minds to what God wants to accomplish in us. As we delve deeper into understanding Proverbs 3, 11, 12, we are called to reflect on our own journey of faith and divine discipline. These contemplation questions can help us examine more deeply our relationship with God's loving correction. How have you responded to the Lord's discipline in your life? Think about situations in which God has used correction to guide your steps. Have you seen it as a manifestation of His love, or have you resisted it and been hurt? In what ways has divine discipline shaped and transformed your character? Reflect on times when, through hardship and correction, you have grown in wisdom, patience, and faith. How have these experiences strengthened your relationship with God? These questions lead us into deeper introspection, preparing our hearts for prayer. By recognizing God's love in each act of discipline, we can open ourselves to ongoing transformation, guided by His loving hand. Now, with our hearts ready to receive His guidance, let us join together in prayer. Loving Father, we thank You for Your discipline and Your constant care in our lives. We know that just as a father disciplines his child out of love, You guide and mold us for our good. We ask that You help us to accept Your correction with humble and open hearts, recognizing that each rebuke is proof of Your love and desire to see us grow. Lord, enable us to trust Your ways even when they are hard to understand. May we always remember that you are with us, guiding and sustaining us every step of the way. Strengthen our faith so that we can see your loving hand in every circumstance, and may the discipline we receive lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Help us to reflect your light and love in our daily lives, bearing witness to your goodness and mercy. May our acceptance of your discipline become a living testimony to the transformation that only you can bring about in us. As we continue our walk of faith, 
May we always seek your presence and guidance, trusting fully in your unfailing love and eternal wisdom. Amen. With this prayer, we open our hearts to a greater understanding and acceptance of God's disciplinary love. May each day bring us closer to Him and transform us according to His will.